hello my viewers and subscribers welcome back to my channel this um, morning we are going scuba diving this time we are just off the airport reef in Montego Bay um, outside of the marine park this is an area known as the Cayman Trench we are doing a wall dive this morning a part of our dive this morning is a wall dive the Cayman Trench run from Grand Cayman all the way up to the north coast right across the southeastern tip of Cuba. The maximum depth in this trench is over 22,000 feet deep. Here where we are it drops off to about 16,000 feet deep. So what you're looking at now is like you're standing at the edge of a cliff and you're looking down into the abyss. So if you should go on this in this area and you pass out they would have to just scatter roses here for you because you are going down however for us scuba divers this is a paradise if you notice this cliff is filled with fish and all different kind of marine life so what you're looking at now is the water beneath me i'm about 95 to 100 feet over the edge of the cliff and top of the cliff is about 60 feet in some area but it drops off to a whopping 16,000 feet in some areas. The water quality this morning is at all its best uh, because it uh, was a little bit um, the rougher side last night into this morning. So a third minute it would have stirred up and it's a bit dark. But this area, this dive is one of my favorite dives. I always love to go diving on the wall. Here you will see nurse sharks, you will see hammerhead sharks sometimes. You will find an occasional um, tiger shark, turtles, uh, big snappers. You, you, you find all different kind of fish on the edge. You'll see the green moray heel just hanging out. Right now, you are looking because I can't go down there. So I try to zoom it in as best as possible for you to see it. So I'm on the side of the wall. If I stretch my hand to my left right now, I would touch the coral reef. But to my right and beneath me, the bottom is nowhere near where I can see it or even try to reach it. So, you know, this area, if you ever come to Jamaica, this is somewhere you want to dive. And if you ever come to Montego Bay, you're in Jamaica already and you really need a good reef diving, you try the Montego Bay um, section of the Cayman Trench and you'll, you'll love it. There's a beautiful formation of different sponges on there. However, we won't take all morning on the trench. Uh, this is a black coral, nice black coral. We won't take all morning on the trench because guess what? You can only stay at this depth for a short time because you risk getting nitrogen or courses. It is the end now, coming to the end of the lobster season. So we have to leave from here and go to another area to pick up some lobster trap to make that final, you know, harvesting of the lobster before the season it cl is closed. So as we look at these plants form on the hedge of the coral reef, what you will see next is us taking up a trap. And this trap was at about 60 feet deep. Um, when we take up the traps like this in the lobster, because it's two days to go within the lobster season, two days to close, we don't store our lobsters in the fridge. We keep them in what we call a crawl on the seaside and keep them alive. And the tourists will come there and purchase the lobsters. So we have to just end this segment of the cliff dive in a very short while and then we will now proceed to move towards another area and we will take up the trap from the bottom. So as you can see now, I'm coming up from over where I was. So it's appear now that I'm coming up on top of the, the, the wall because I have to do a multi-level dive here 90 feet 60 feet and then I go up to 30 feet and then at 15 feet I stop for about three minutes so I can get rid of the nitrogen out of my bloodstream because that's where the nitrogen leave the bloodstream at a rapid rate 15 feet below surface if I pass without making that safety stop I risk getting decompression sickness so I'm on my way up from over the deep that's why you see that blue a while ago so I'm coming up or coming up now on the side of the wall by now I should be on top of the wall this is about 60 feet 
so now we move from this area of the diving hope you have enjoyed it and try to you know experience it one day link us up we we'll make the link and take you there so we're taking the trap out of the water now because we're in a different area we don't fish in the marine park so we are in a different area now we're taking up a trap now this trap has have some lobsters in it it also has some fish but as fishermen we fish responsibly because we have to take care of the environment to ensure that there's fish still leave for the next generation to come and make a living from so at this time of the year every crustacean shrimp lobster crab they are in their peak season of breeding so you'll notice that when we take the crab out of this trap the captain will not leave that crab in the in the boat he will throw it overboard why it's a female crab and it has hex so we don't kill it even though you can still get a good price for it there's something worth more than money and it is the continuation of the species so we release that one because it's a female and there are some eggs underneath and the belly and the next crab you'll see is a male it only have one claw because it will lose that claw while fighting you know for the sex um yeah when it um get into contact with a male that is more dominant than he is they sometimes lose both claws they lose legs some of them will die in the process so as we take these fish from the trap of course we take them back to the beach where we will market them the lobsters also we will do the same so we have two days to go so we are also going through and we're taking all the lobsters from the trap removing the trap from the area where we now want to trap lobsters and put them now where we can catch some fish all right so one more tra uh, crab is left in the trap it's a female so we are going to take it out and we are going to throw that one overboard also and then we bait it now coming from the cayman trench the wall that we just dive on all that beauty and even the beauty of catching some fish for your table there are still some ugliness that really affect the marine life because people still act irresponsibly they dump their garbage into the gullies into the drain and guess where they end up they end up right in the ocean and for individuals like myself who scuba dive i come in contact with these garbage all the time on the seafloor and it really affects the marine life the fish stock it affects the crabs the, the the lobsters you name it these are things that we must make sure friends that we don't do we don't throw our garbage carelessly through the vehicle window or, or dump them in the gully or on the street side now here we would have taken some of the lobsters in it was surely a lot more than this but we would have marked them off because what we have is that we have the guests or the tourists come to the beach to buy them like this because they like to buy them alive some of the tourists who come to jamaica don't want the one that come from other um wooded area where it rain they rather come to the seaside and get some lobsters that are freshly caught they're still alive and they will even sometimes um grill them on the beach and that's why again it's important not to harass the tourists not to push them if they come and they want something to buy they'll buy it and if you just take it easy you get a good price and they will also pay you or pay somebody a day themselves just catch a fire and a whole rim that is on the beach and they will grill their lobsters they will eat it right there the shops on the beach they will get to sell some red stripe beer etc etc and other other other, other beverages alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages but for us the sale for the lobsters is on spot and we really appreciate that so we keep our beach friendly this is a white house fishing beach we keep it clean and friendly and we entertain our guests so on the bottom of the ocean floor now what you can see is that somebody who was on a pleasure boat having a good time just throw that cup overboard and it's now at the bottom of the sea and i can tell you the fish they're not having a good time with it because very soon the reef will be overrun with garbage some of the time when it rains and the water wash the garbage out of the different communities it end up right in the bay of montego and it's a disgusting sight to look at you know and on the ocean floor you, you you know i have to sometimes just make a dive direct to remove these things from the ocean floor especially in the area where i fish and at some point i will go on a drive you know do a video where i am clearing all of this so you know we ask that you support this movement by liking the video 
um, subscribe into the channel, share, leave a comment. Tell us what you think. How can we be more responsible? You know, with the way we dispose our garbage and what can be done to prevent the garbage that we use, you know, from ending up in the sea and spoiling the coastline. And my friend, this is God given gift to us. He gave us this planet and we live here. There's no way out of here going somewhere else. So let us take care of our planet. Let us take care of our beaches. Let us take care of our gullies and our drain because when we are mean to Mother Nature, she will be mean to us. So love the environment and like this video. Thank you.